My name is Brad. I'm the Canadian Action Party candidate for Esquimalt Juan de Fuca. The main reason I'm running is because I don't feel that the four mainstream parties, that is the uh, Liberals, the Conservatives, or the Greens, are getting the information out to the public that needs to be discussed. Um, specific issues I'm very concerned about is the um, borrowing from, finan from financial institutions other than the Bank of, of Canada. We would like to reinstall the Bank of Canada as our primary source of funding for all the needs of government. Um, there's no reason uh, to pay private institutions interest the way we are. All the revenue we need to pay for all our social services could be redeemed if we would simply reinstate the Bank of Canada as the primary source of financing. Are you getting that information from the mainstream parties? Uh, are you getting information about the SPP? That is the Security and Prosperity Partnership. This is a genuine threat to Canadian sovereignty. In February of this year, uh, February 14th, uh, they made a deal with the American uh, military and the Canadian military that they could cross one another's borders in the event of a, a, an emergency deemed by the American government. Did you know that? Why don't you know that? Did the Greens tell you that? Did the NDP tell you that? Did the Conservatives tell you that? Why didn't they tell you that? The reasons are, are plain. They're being kept from you. We need this information out. That's why I'm running as a candidate. That's why I wouldn't worry so much about splitting your vote as much as I would concern myself seriously about splitting up Canada and turning it to corporate interests on the other side of the border. You may concern yourself with making your vote count. I would concern myself with placing my vote to make a statement to say that no, this secret deal behind closed doors is not acceptable. I want to be informed. I don't feel that you're informing me. And therefore, I'm placing my vote for the Canadian Action Party. If you look at how much interest we're paying to private banks on a federal basis because we're not using the Bank of Canada, I mean, what's the first thing that comes up in local issues? We want hospital beds. Well, there's no funding for hospital beds. We want, you know, services. We want education. We want, you know, our infrastructure. We want all these things. Well, you go back to following the money, and you solve that problem of not letting millions and millions of dollars go to private institutions, and you find the money for these issues. But we have to go to the bank, to the Bank of Canada, we have to go to the Canadian government and we have to insist that they not borrow from private institutions. And then we can solve these local issues. We have to stop the madness first and rede redeem our dominion over our own money. On the subject of Afghanistan, it's important to know why we went to Afghanistan. Now, are we, were we ever in threat of Afghanistan invading Canada? Is Canada's national security threatened by Afghanistan? Of course not. We went to Afghanistan due to the 9-11 attack. It was immediately after that that we engaged in the, uh, the coalition of the willing. We need to know what really happened in 9-11. We talk to people on the streets all the time about this issue. Um, many people... For instance, I've never heard of Building 7. Did you know that three buildings fell into their own footprint that day? Never before in history have steel frame concrete buildings fallen into their own footprint just by fire. You know that Building 7 wasn't even hit by a plane? Again, if you don't know that, why don't you know that? And you don't find that suspicious? Should we not find it suspicious that somehow this great inferno that brought down a 110-story building, uh, we have evidence of a, a passport flying through the air and landing on the ground and being retrieved? There are reasons, sound reasons, to have a, a royal commission convened to investigate 9-11 because it's directly affecting the lives of our troops. Say support the troops. I wish to support the troops very much so. I want to support their families. I want to make sure that we know why we're sending them into harm's way. We know why we're doing what we're doing. 
that's the only way to take responsibility for what we're doing. Now another one of the main platforms of the Canadian Action Party is to advocate NAFTA. We also intend to cancel the SBP, the Security Prosperity Partnership. These agreements are compromising Canadian sovereignty, compromising our, our uh, prerogative to uh, say where and when we sell our goods, services and resources. Are, are you aware? of the oncoming North American Union that is coming right behind these, these agreements. Um, don't believe me. Do your own research. Please. Uh, that is the basic premise for this whole campaign that we're running here, is to make sure that people have the information they need to make intelligent, informed-based decisions in this election. So to wrap things up, I'd just like to say my name is Brad Rose, and I'd like to thank you for allowing me to introduce myself as your candidate in the Squamant Wanda to Fuga riding. Cast your vote for Canadian Action Party, and we can get things done. We want to be Canadian, thank you very much.